So it's good to see all of you this morning. And I want to talk to you about special days in the life of the church. And there are really three big special days. And can anyone guess what one of them might be? What's that? Easter. Easter, that's right. Easter is one of those special days. There we go. And I have these eggs. And we use Easter eggs to celebrate Easter because you think about it. When a baby chick is born, it comes out of this egg. It chips away. And the baby chick comes out of this, just sort of like Jesus came out of the tomb. Anyone guess another special day in the church? Christmas, Christmas yes. So uh, as all you know, I also love Christmas. And I love these things. I thought I'd show you this one. I saw this one this past year. This is one of my new ones. I have about 90 of these, believe it or not. Look at look what this guy does. Got to wait. There's a little change in a minute, a second. <laughs> so, you can always come play at my house at Christmas time. But then I also have this because this is really what Christmas is all about. And there we go, that goes right there like this. I'm going to put it together. There we go. And this is the angel that's on top of my Christmas tree. And I didn't realize when I got this Christmas tree, but it slowly turns, which makes this kind of cool because this keeps going around and it twinkles in the light. How many of you have angels on top of your tree? How many of you have stars? Okay. I have stars. You have a star? Okay. So Christmas is the second big day in the life of the church. Anyone know what the third one is? This one's a little trickier. I'll give you a hint. This is a birthday present. It's just wrapped up. There's nothing in there, but it's a symbol of a birthday present. And this third big day in the life of the church is when we celebrate the birthday of the church, when the church was born. And we celebrated that just a few weeks ago when our confirmands were received into the church. And that's the third big day up there. Anyone know what that word says? What's that big word up there say? Pentecost. And it means 50 days after Easter. And it's the birthday of the church because on the day of Pentecost, the disciples, the followers of Jesus, were all together. And the Holy Spirit came on them. And the Holy Spirit is a part of God. And I was trying to think, how can I help you understand what the Holy Spirit is all about? And I have it right here in my pocket. We have red balloons on the day of Pentecost. One more? All righty. So this is the balloon that we have on the day of Pentecost. And I was thinking, how can I help the boys and girls understand what the Holy Spirit is all about? And then I realized, oh, it's like this balloon. <laughs> so the balloon moves because the air comes out and it pushes it. And we're told that when the Holy Spirit came on the disciples, it was like a mighty wind. And the Holy Spirit is what moved the disciples to go out and tell everyone all about Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is with us today, too. And it's what moves us to be like Jesus. So, for example, if you see someone on the playground and they're really sad, and you feel bad for them, and you go over and you talk to them and play with them, that's actually the Holy Spirit. It's that part of God that moves us 
to be like Jesus, just like it did on the day of Pentecost with the disciples. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for Pentecost and for the Holy Spirit. Help us to always feel the Holy Spirit in our hearts and help us to do what it wants us to do so that we can be like Jesus. Amen. Thank you.